that have swarmed out of one of our hives, probably, it might be the museum's hive, but there's also another hive down the street here in a walnut tree that has had a beehive in it for like years and years. And every year, uh, if a colony is doing well, the beehive will, will swarm, they'll, they'll kind of split. So the queen will take like half the hive with her and leave a queen behind that'll take over that, that existing hive. And so what they do is they swarm to some, just some random place and it's sort of a staging area and so the queen is in here in this mass right here and they're all swarming around her and she's got this strong pheromone that keeps them all with her well what's happening now is the scouts these other bees are flying out looking for a suitable new home that they can fly to and when they come back they'll all dance around and whoever's figured out the best place to move to then all the bees will just start taking off the air will just be filled with bees here and they'll all find that new location uh, and swarm away so what we're trying to do is capture them before they leave for that new home and put them in a box and we're going to carry them to another hive and put them in a hive so that we can actually you know hold on to the bees that way otherwise they'll just randomly fly off to a you know wild hive someplace else so we're going to go ahead and put on some you know a little bee hat here just for protection although i will say that when bees are swarming like this they're typically very gentle in most cases so they're unlikely to sting uh, but you still have to be careful, so it never hurts to always have uh, a veil on to protect your eyes because, you know, getting stung in the eye or face is not very fun. I was hoping they'd be all on just one little limb right there, but they're on two different limbs. So I'm going to hopefully be able to hold on to both these limbs at the same time and cut them and bring them over here and shake them down into this hardware box right here. So I might try this. Oops. This is the main branch, so hopefully I can get them all in this one right here. Boy, this is heavier than I expected. Close this up and open this little drawbridge here. Wow, so they can kind of find their way in. Yeah, this is heavy. I'm not expecting this kind of heavy. It's a big, heavy swarm. And I'm going to go ahead and tape this shut. And so hopefully all of these will start finding their way in. You can see that they're all marching they're already towards, doing it. towards the queen right now. Wow. Because they can smell that pheromone. Now, if you look really close, you're going to see something called nasonoffing. See how they have their abdomen stuck up? in the air and you can see there's a little white gland kind of right there kind of sticking up that's the nasal gland what they're doing is they're sending out a pheromone saying follow me go this way and you can see these look how lined up they are over there perfectly lined up telling the other bees that are scattered out here flying around telling them where to go how to get here so you got a bunch of bees up here that are still unsure of where they're supposed to go we may have to scoop them up and put them down here so they can make it a little easier for them. So we may have to try to get the rest of these guys over here. We shake them in front. Ready for this? Shake them down. Oh god. He's not the brightest one in there, but he's, he's trying his best. He's doing his best. He can smell the pheromone from out that crack, and he's telling the beast to go this way. <laughs> when he should be telling him to go in the front door. 